my lover's hands on my back, and my hand drawn to the lightning rod my clit is. I am being beautifully electrocuted. Oh, <laughs> there is fire between us. His lips creeping up each vertebra, brush fire igniting as he pushes in, grabbing the fat globe of my ass. And you know how sometimes during sex your mind wanders? And my mind did, back to a time when another lover said, I couldn't be enjoying it. No way was I enjoying rutting like an animal. I was in denial. He thought I was faking that rasp. Rust gathered at my throat back. Like he was Prince Charming, and I, a lady in waiting. Cause Prince Charming don't fuck. And girls who <laughs> like to rut, uh, what do they call us? Sluts. I wasn't allowed to wear corsets, stockings, garter belts, nothing. Because he said, that's not really you, is it? Like the girl in my high school class who told me I only wore silky undies because of my cultural conditioning. Never mind the <laughs> fact that they felt good against my skin. I couldn't be enjoying it. No way was I enjoying it. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the armchair sex experts. Thanks to the hypocritical politicians who wag their heads at us in public while ordering up interns and call girls on the sly. Thanks to all the pundits who make their living screaming scandal each time a girl in a short skirt walks by. Thank you especially for telling me that even though my body is blessed with a G-spot strategically located in such a place that fucking on all fours affords me torrential ecstasy. That's <laughs> <It's> true. <laughs> I'm not allowed to enjoy myself because of your assumptions and associations. Gee, who's culturally conditioned again? I've lost track. Mmm. I'm back with my man, and my breasts are swinging, my nipples furious as cords of dynamite, and the clit is like a lightning rod, and touching it can be like being beautifully electrocuted, but the cunt itself is a basket of nerves, alive breathing and flexing, hugging his cock as he slides painfully, slowly, in and out of me, making those luscious, slurping, sucking sounds, and he's drawn in to the orbit of the planet my ass is. And if I were looking into a mirror right now, I would see his face burnt with desire for me, the animal he loves loving him, my perfect animal, my hard, deep fuck, my endless want, who wants me to do as I feel. And I do, as a woman who knows her own mind, who calls her desires gorgeous and real.